But we start tonight with boxing. And Anthony Mundine has earned a world title shot after an emphatic points decision over Danny Green in Sydney last night. In the biggest boxing match in Australian history, the man proved far too good for the machine in a 12-round epic. A unanimous points decision over slight favourite Danny Green was all class, and the victory has given a vastly improved Mundine a second shot at super middleweight title holder Mikhail Kessler. I think Anthony Mundine showed last night that his father took him to a certain level, and now the addition of the American trainer Roy Jones Sr. is taking him to that next level. And I think from what he showed last night, the fight, a rematch with Mikhail Kessler, Anthony Mundine can win. For 33 year old Green, the future is uncertain. Unfortunately, I just didn't find the night, so I'll just go home and assess my future and uh, my plans for the next month are just uh, R and R, basically. Denny Green seemed to lose a little bit of steam from his punches. He didn't have that explosive power we've, we've seen from him in the past. And Anthony Mundine's hand speed was what really did the damage. It wasn't his foot movement. His hands were so fast that he was catching Danny Green as he was coming in. The fight grossed an estimated $20 million and Mundine has left the door open for a rematch if the money's right. There's no doubt he'll be even more confident after dominating the long-awaited clash. In front of millions of television viewers and more than 30,000 fans at Aussie Stadium, the pair finally faced off. Green was the aggressor early, taking the fight right up to the ex-rugby league star. But very quickly, it was Mundine calling the shots. Oh, right hand by Mundine. Sporting and business big hitters were everywhere as the spectacle matched the hype. There was still a little room for the entertainer to taunt his opponent, but it was mostly business for the 30-year-old. By the fifth round, Mundine's lightning hand speed was proving lethal. There was concern in the Green camp. The fight was getting away from the former interim world champion. The sixth round brought more punishment for Green, and there was no respite in the seventh. What a right hand from Mundine. In a complete performance, Mundine outboxed his opponent. His only slip-up came courtesy of a dewy canvas before the onslaught continued. Green was gallant in defeat. Well behind on points, he kept searching for a knockout. But Mundine was savvy to the final bell. It's time to shake hands. The judge's decision unanimous. The feud finally settled emphatically in the man's favour. From the blue corner, Anthony Mundine! I want to thank Danny for a great fight. You know, man, I want to thank you for a great fight. He put up a good performance. He came around, he took the pad. I was a better man tonight, Dan. Thank you very much. To Anthony Mundine, a lot's been said in the past. He just fought a better fight tonight. He beat me fair and square. I have no excuses other than Anthony was a better man tonight and he, and he showed great skill, great speed. Brett Clancy, SBS Sport.